Hi booktube, this is Johnny. I thought I'd make a video since I just got in the mail. I got all these cameras, you know, I got cameras everywhere. My oldest camera is this one. I bought this 15 years ago, it still works. So camera my wife got for um, Carol Keene, 40,000 hours of service. She got that from the hospital. This is my wife's old camera before she started using her cell phone. I used this one. I used to use this one a lot to make videos for BookTube and then I bought this camera two years ago that I'm filming on now. This is my newest camera. I bought this this summer. I make videos on this once in a while, but this is that tripod I bought for it. <laughs> it's kind of hard to, you know, this thing is just so wobbly. You know, it's just irritating. I don't know how to get it balanced. It just irritates me. So, spent all, wasted all that money for it. it. Cost me seventy dollars for that little tripod. It was a waste of money. But anyway, so these are the books I got in the mail. I thought I'd show them to you guys because, hey, why not? I, this I got from Wonder Books. It's just a book I came across that looked kind of interesting. Uh, I showed you couple of videos ago my Jonathan Rabin collection and I saw this on Amazon for love and money a writing life by uh, Jonathan Rabin for love and money a writing life 1969 to 1989 and it really looked uh, interesting uh, I like books like this he talks about books and writers and and like uh, different things in his life. Evelyn Wan, he has a chapter on Evelyn Wan, Richard Kipling, Mark Twain, Trollope, uh, Byron, uh, Living in London, the essay he writes. Uh, there's all kinds of things. So I got that for my, you know, I like, you know, when, when I can't read, you know, heavy things, I like, I like reading essays and books like this. This is the, you probably know what this is, but I told you I was going to get it today. It's a, uh, It is the New Reformation Commentary on Hebrews and James. I, I've been showing you this one for ages, the one on my desk. See, I've been showing you this one for ages. I even have, you know, I think I've had it two or three months on my desk. And this is the newest one on Hebrews and James. Like I said in one of my videos, uh, uh, Hebrews used to be one of my favorite New Testament books. That, it was the book that brought me into the Reformed faith, covenantal theology. But what got me out of covenant theology, uh, Reformed covenantal theology, was reading Galatians. And not just reading it like reading Martin Luther's exposition on Galatians, but just reading Galatians as the writings of the Apostle Paul and putting away my Reformed theology and just looking at what Paul says in the Epistle to the Galatians. So I studied that for many years and then that's what brought me into my present understanding why I reject Reform covenantal theology. But anyway, I like this series. I collect them. 
I have a lot of them. I was going to show them in the video, but then I thought, hey, you guys don't want to see my stack of Reformation commentaries on the scriptures. So that's what I got in the mail. As I did today, I had to do errands today. I had to, well, first of all, I had to put gas in my wife's car. And so I did that. And then after putting gas in her car, I went to thrift stores and I went to Staples Office Supply Store. Uh, I went to thrift stores north of Holland. It's, it's, it's not that far. But I hadn't gone there this week, which was a Goodwill. And I went to Goodwill and I didn't find anything. Uh, I went to Action House. I went to... Uh, Africa's Child, which is next next door to Goodwill, which is a Christian ministry that supplies, digs wells, fresh water in Africa. And I found these two books, Africa's Child. This is Philip Carr, uh, A Man Without Breath, a Bernie Guntry novel. I collect Philip Carr's novels in his series, but I have never read him. I got like a huge stack of his stuff. But I didn't have this one, so I bought it. And I had seen this at this book here at Africa's Child for a long time. And so I bought it. It's called Death of a President, November 1963 by William Manchester. I've been showing you his book on Kennedy. And this is his book on the death of the assassination of President uh, John F. Kennedy. See, it has the uh, the time time chrono the time chronology of that day in November 1963 when President Kennedy was assassinated. <laughs> it was interesting. I was at a grocery store af this afternoon. Well, I, I after I went to the thrift stores. And when I went to the, I went to Staples office supply store and got myself some fresh paper for my diary. I bought some pens. I bought myself some colored pens. Usually when I go to Staples, I always buy these, but I have a whole drawer of them, and I can't, I can't see buying more. You know, see, I have all kinds of them. You know, I just have you know, more. So you know, all these, I can't buy any more pins. It's like, I just love these pins and I keep. So what I did instead of buying, I bought myself multicolored ones. I got a green one, a purple one, a red one. And a black one. Oh, and a blue one. So, and yet, the other day at Meyer's grocery store, I bought myself some uh, Sharpies, a different color. I don't know, maybe I'm going to start writing in different colors, kind of mix it up, get really, you know, get kind of crazy and writing in my diary. So yeah, that's what I got in the mail. Love and Money, A Writing Life by Jonathan Rabin. And I got the new Reformation Commentary and Scripture, Hebrews and James, New Testament, Volume 13, edited by Ronald K. Ritters. Now I got, I got two of them on my desk. And uh, I picked up Oh yeah, then I picked up at another thrift store on the way home, which is Bibles for Mexico. They, it's a Christian ministry of supplying money for missionaries and for Bibles in Mexico. I found this. I have his other novels, this James Clavel's. This is Noble House. I, it was only 25 cents, so I'm going to add it to the stack if I have his other novels. So that's what's going on here as far today, what I've read, I don't know, I haven't really read anything. I mean, I read a little bit of Sanctification by Michael Allen this morning, 
But when the mail came this afternoon, I was kind of dozing. <laughs> I'm kind of tired. So I was sitting in the easy chair in the living room, just kind of drifting off into some kind of faraway place. Uh, and I'm on page 1002 right now. I got a call from the book nook. The woman who runs the book nook, the volunteers, and they want me to cover uh, every second Wednesday, every month from 3 to 5. So tomorrow I got to be there and I'll get a free book. I put a, I put some, a, a, a book aside last time by Pete Dexter, uh, Deadwood, which was a famous novel that was nominated for National Book Award a number of years ago. I have all of Pete Dexter's novels except Deadwood. So it's a paperback. So I'm going to get that tomorrow. And I have another book set aside, a biography on Genghis Khan. Big, huge, massive thing I'm going to get. So yeah, maybe something has come in since I last was there. So I thought I'd show you my books I got in the mail. Show you the books I got at a thrift store. Show you my fresh paper from Staples, my pins. I'm writing in my diary. Taking photos. You know, this camera I bought four or five years ago. And it's so heavy, that's why I got this one. It's lighter and it has a greater zoom. This has a 65 optical zoom. This one only has a 30 optical zoom. So I can really take a lot of better bird pictures with this one, my newest camera. This camera I first bought many years ago. We bought this camera for all our children when they graduated from college. It's a Canon. And it only has, I think, oh, I don't know, it's, it's not really good for like taking zoom. I just, you, it takes good pictures. Even after all, after all these years, I still use it once in a while. Well, I'm just rambling here about cameras, about diaries, about books, about Reformation commentaries, writing in my diary. It's going on today is November the 7th, 2017. It is going on 2.30 in the afternoon and the existence keeps speeding by like Superman, like a speeding bullet. And yeah, so I'm going to sign off. I might make a video tonight. My wife works tonight and then she's off Wednesday and Thursday. She works Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Then Sunday night, our daughter and her husband, Andy, and our three grandchildren are going to be visiting, the, visiting us for a couple of days. And then Andy, his family lives over in Grand Rapids. His mother is a widow now. His stepfather recently died, and um, but they're going to spend Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. They, but Saturday, this next Saturday, we're all getting together at my oldest son's place in Grand Rapids. Bethany, Andy, Louisa, Margaret, Jack, and then Caleb, Emily, and Josie, and Carol and I, we're all going to get together and have an early Thanksgiving. So I'll be taking lots of photos and videos of the grandkids and of my children and grandchildren. Much to be thankful for in this world. So I'll sign off, hoping you're having a good Tuesday. And till next time, bye.